Hello, 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 beautiful people. It's your girl here, Coach Esther, popping in with today's wisdom capsule. So, I have a friend, and ever since I've known her, she celebrates. She, she's got children, she's a single mother, and she's got four kids. And every time it's her, uh, a child's birthday, she'll go all out. Like, she'll decorate her home. She'll have a mini party. And because there are five of them, they're already enough. <laughs> they're enough to have a mini party. And she will only invite people that are closest to her. Not out of, like, uh, any uh, bad, like, motive or anything. Just because she knows how to celebrate herself. And her children the first time that I went to uh, 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 when we became friends and I went to her birthday party of one of her child one of her children and the way she's gone all out like you you won't be able to tell that she's a single mother she's decorated the home she's bought children clothes she's bought herself clothes and they will change like maybe a couple of times during the the period of the party sometimes she will make it bigger and invite other people in the times i've seen her the music will be blasting and and I used to look at her, never understood. And she would take as many pictures as, as she could, making memories. I did not understand. And then we got talking the other day and she's like, look, Esther, you have to celebrate yourself. You can't keep putting, put your, putting your life on hold, waiting for somebody to come and celebrate you. You can't keep putting your life on hold, waiting for somebody to bring the bag or somebody to bring life or somebody to bring happiness. You have to create your own happiness is what she said to me. And that got me thinking that the number of times that we wait around for people to, to help us. I mean, don't get me wrong. Don't misconstrue what I'm saying. It's important to ask for help when you need it. But, but we, 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 it's easy for us to be, to lay back and be blasé and say, oh, when I meet that person or when, when this person comes to help me, look at what you can do. What can you do to help yourself rather than waiting for somebody to complete you? Like you said, she's a single mother. It was a birthday the other day and boy, she went all out. She did not kid. She was like, right, as long as I have the people closest to me and I'm able to celebrate, she danced, she she changed her outfit however many times she wanted to. She had her children around her and she just celebrated herself. She celebrated having another year. And it, that just inspired me to think, actually, what am I waiting for? What am I waiting to happen before I go out and celebrate myself? Now, I'm not saying go and do stupid things or do things without wisdom or don't open your life up to people. But I'm saying... If those people aren't around, what do you do? Do you sit down rejected with your high list of expectations? And that often leads to offense because you have such a long list of expectations from people. If they don't meet those expectations, then we tend to throw people out because they've not met our expectations. But really, if we were complete by ourselves, really, if we know how to celebrate ourselves, which is part of self-care really if we know how to be happy really if we know how to create our own happiness when people disappoint us there's so much uh the the, the the disappointment won't be so bad that we then start to cut people off or then we develop offense and we keep grudges because well you didn't come to my last birthday party but what if you had fun on your party you did whatever you wanted to do on your birthday even if people aren't there how about we choose to celebrate ourselves how about we choose to live and do the things that we want to do whether or not somebody is there again don't get me wrong i'm not saying don't ask for help i'm not saying don't celebrate the people in your life i'm not saying don't welcome people into your lives as much as people can contribute to you, you can contribute to others. And if you start to think, what can I add to somebody else today? Rather than looking for what other people can do for us, how much will our lives change? 
how how much less offense we'll have because we're not looking i'm not looking for you to do something for me necessarily if you do it that's a bonus if you don't do it i love you anyway well i hope you've uh, learn something and enjoy today's wisdom capsule and I will speak to you soon.